What is up, my friends? Welcome back. Today, we're talking cybersecurity, partly because, as many of you know, you might have seen my recent video where I shared some of the ways that we could have avoided getting hit by a cyber attack. It wasn't a data breach, which is great, but data breaches as well as denial of service kind of issues are all costly to businesses. And that's why website security is so important. I was reading an article the other day, and this is part of what prompted this video. This article claims that according to the Identity Theft Resource Center, 73% of small and medium businesses, that includes you, if you have a website and are trying to make money, even if you're just a blogger, or if you're a small business, whatever you are, 73% have experienced some sort of cyber attack or data breach or both in the last 12 months. That's higher than ever before. When I saw that claim, I thought that can't be right. I mean, we just had a little cyber attack, but I guess it was a real cyber attack and it did impact hundreds of thousands of websites. So I decided to do a little bit more research to see if I could validate that claim. I found this cool article from Strong DM on statistics for 2024 for cybersecurity. Apparently 46% of all cybersecurity breaches impact businesses with fewer than a thousand employees small and mid-sized businesses, SMBs. 61% of SMBs, I mean, that's a little lower than our 73% number that we're trying to hit, were the target of a cyber attack in, oh, 2021. Shoot, that was three years ago. And it says malware is the most common type of cyber attack aimed at small businesses, 18% of all cyber attacks. And look at this, 87% of small businesses have customer data that could be compromised in an attack. You might not think you're storing any real important data, but you probably have more than you think, especially if you've ever sold something. This is part of the reason for the GDPR legislation over in the EU, essentially giving consumers the ability to control their data. The problem is that even with those kinds of laws in place in Europe, in California, and other places throughout the world today, it's pretty much impossible for me to keep track of where all of my data is and who has it. In fact, it's kind of unsettling to me how many people suddenly have me on an email list that I'm like, I've never even heard of you before. Somebody sold them my information, but that's not totally cybersecurity related, so let's get back to it. In this article from CrowdStrike, it talks about why are small businesses at risk? Well, it's mostly because small and mid-sized businesses, we think we're just not that big of a target. I mean, it even asks the question, don't cyber criminals have bigger fish to fry? As a result of that, we don't take very good security measures. The other issue is that really good enterprise level security is expensive. And that's why big companies will invest a lot in it. They got the money to do it. And it makes it harder to attack them. And sometimes these attackers are able to target a lot of people all at once, a lot of businesses all at once. And so they can get a lot of value out of a single attack. So we're actually a bigger target than we probably think we are. According to Insurance Business Mag, um, it says that the biggest primary point of vulnerability for I, I would imagine it's mostly data breaches, is phishing. With that as the point of entry, making up 53% of these attacks. And not to scare you even further, but uh, according to SBIR.gov, and this is a report that is actually like, I think like 10 years old, okay? But it said at the time that 50% of SMBs have been the victims of cyber attacks and over 60% of those attacked go out of business. I don't know if that 60% number really is accurate today, just because these cyber attacks are so prolific. And I think we have better resources for recovery. But the problem is, is that when you have, a, especially a data breach, it's one thing to have your site go down for like a day. It's another thing when your customer's data has been taken. That leads people to not trust you. Even if you think that you were taking reasonable precautions and it maybe wasn't your fault. Case in point, in my recent video, I talked about how I've used LastPass to track my passwords so that I can create very, very complex passwords and I have literally hundreds of logins, I can't remember them all. But I was told by, I don't know, probably no less than 20 people not to use LastPass and not to promote them because why? They've had a data breach before. Some people went so far as to say they had a ton of hacks and a ton of data breaches. I don't know about a ton and I'm not here to defend LastPass. I talk to other people inside Project 24 even that have way more expertise in cybersecurity than me who did recommend some better options and we can talk about those in another time as well. In general, using a password repository also puts you at risk because if they get hacked, all your passwords can be taken. But what a lot of them are doing is using encryption 
so that even they can't see your passwords without your specific encryption key. So the only way anybody's gonna get them is if they're able to log in through your credentials. So protect those credentials at all cost. All right, <laughs> again, back to the cybersecurity stuff. How are you gonna protect your website? Well, we've talked in the past about some of the most common options out there for the websites that we recommend. We teach you to use WordPress. Some people are like, WordPress is awful. Honestly, any website is at risk of attack. It doesn't matter what content management system you're using, whether it's WordPress or any other out there. But the problem is, is a lot of the malware security is being done at the application level. If you just use a WordPress plugin, like WordFence, which has done a good job for a lot of people, it's, it's a perfectly good plugin, but when you use a plugin, it's happening at that application level, and so it's happening at the same level as all of your other plugins, and literally, the malware that can get installed onto your website can deactivate the other plugin. But if you're able to have that security at a higher level, then it can actually manage all of those applications as they're updated. So this is where I kind of get to the point of this video. Shortly after I put out that last video, I was contacted by someone over at Cloudways. Cloudways is who I use for my hosting and they decided that it was important for me to share this information with you and so they are sponsoring this video. I've personally been using Cloudways on all of the websites that I own for a couple of years now, basically ever since I started working with them, because I've been so happy with them as a hosting provider. Between the cost, especially because I manage so many websites, I mean, if you have more than like two websites, it's probably cheaper to be on Cloudways than on most of the other shared hosting platforms. But what I'm able to get in terms of features and capability from Cloudways at that cost goes above and beyond what I ever got on any of the shared hosting platforms for WordPress. That's why I recommend it inside of Project 24. That's why I recommend it here on YouTube. But here's another thing that's cool. Cloudways keeps adding new features, in part by partnering with all sorts of other companies that have these awesome features and then integrating it in to their hosting. And they just recently launched malware protection. If I'd had this enabled on my website before that attack happened, I probably wouldn't have even known about it. I just would have heard about it after the fact. So now I'm kind of kicking myself that I wasn't more on top of it but at least I'm glad I know about it and that I can make you aware of it. Now, Cloudways is already protecting us from so many other possible attacks. One really common attack is a DDoS attack. It's a distributed denial of service. Essentially what they do is they send a whole bunch of traffic from different places, bot traffic to your website all at once to utilize all the resources and it prevents your site from being able to actually serve legitimate traffic. Well, I've already had in place bot protection. This is literally just built in. This is for a website for a nonprofit organization that I do work for. And I don't even have to like follow these numbers or anything because it's just doing this automatically. They're blocking certain traffic that matches certain patterns that makes it look like bot traffic or automated traffic. And that can prevent those types of DDoS attacks. Do I think that they're gonna try to like take down this Symphony's website? Probably not. But then again, small and mid-sized businesses are being specifically targeted these days. With Cloudways, I also have daily backups for free, just included. I, they have this uh, capability for safe updates. I talked about safe updates in my other video, using another program to do them, but here it's also built right in. This is another paid feature. For $3 a month, you can do those safe updates. So essentially, when you do these updates to your plugins and stuff, it can take a snapshot right before. That way, if you have the kind of attack like I had, and I think this is one of the most common attacks for WordPress websites, is when you get a plugin on your website that has been infected for some reason. In our case, it was a very reputable plugin. We've told you one, one of the ways to avoid malware is simply to not use plugins that don't have very much credibility. This was a plugin for a very reputable organization. And guess what? The plugin itself got infected. Why? Because somebody was able to get the credentials of a developer who works on that plugin because of another data breach somewhere else. So they got a hold of their credentials, logged in, created a malicious update, and pushed it out to everybody using that plugin. And that is what included my website. And it put a whole bunch of spammy crap links, and it's kind of a denial of service sort of issue. The resources on the website just started getting overloaded. And that can be costly to your business. You don't want that sort of stuff to happen. Well, with safe updates, again, if I had just done safe updates instead of enabling auto updates on my WordPress site, that could have been avoided as well because I could have just backed up to before the update 
could literally just like press edit undo <laughs> on that update and all of that malware would have just been gone. Cloudways also has a whole bunch of other features, again, already built in. They have a dedicated a server level firewall. They're regularly putting out security patches and updates to make sure that we have the best, uh, most up-to-date version of WordPress, PHP and stuff, and essentially trying to make sure that their servers and our websites are not susceptible to the types of attacks that t tend to happen the most. They also make available two-factor authentication. They can make it so that just logging in, you require two-factor authentication. So the whole credentials getting stolen becomes less of an issue. You can also use that bot protection, but then if you need to whitelist certain IP addresses that need to be able to connect to your website, it's easy. You can just manage that yourself by whitelisting certain IP addresses. Already on the free version, they have a vulnerability scanner. They have all sorts of cool stuff. They have role-based access controls that make it so that I can have a developer actually go into the back end of my website, even on Cloudways and work on the database and stuff, but without having access to everything that I have access to. They have other real-time monitoring tools as well as log management and analysis. So essentially, you can see all the things that are potentially happening and all the potential risks that you're facing based upon the traffic coming to your website. But now they've leveled it up by adding in malware protection. And this is actually, I think, super cool. Again, for a long time, the strongest recommendation has been to use something like WordFence or Sukuri. These are expensive solutions. Yes, there's a free version of WordFence, but you only get a fraction of the features that you get with a paid version. But the cheapest paid version of WordFence costs more than double what Cloudways is charging for their malware protection. So let's talk a little bit about their malware protection, what it is, and let's talk about, is it even as good? To check out malware protection for your own website, if you're already on Cloudways for your hosting, you just come on over here to your application, get clicked into there, and then over here on the left side, you click on malware protection, and you just turn it on. It's really quite easy. But let's look at what they're saying they do. First of all, phishing protection. They can't stop people in your organization from opening dumb emails and clicking on the links. But what they can do is identify when that link has malware that's being loaded onto your site. They can identify that before it actually has an opportunity to run anything. Here it talks about that proactive defense. They can block malware injection in runtime. You see, if you install a new plugin on your website or you update a plugin on your website like I did, that you think is likely to be totally just fine, but it's got malware in it, because this malware protection is not at the same application level, it's actually able to read that code and detect that malware before it has a chance to actually be loaded and to run on your website. And it can prevent it from ever doing anything. In my case, that malware ran, and so what it did is it actually injected some code into the theme file for my website, and it was able to go create some users on my website, giving them access to the back end. Again, fortunately, they didn't have an opportunity to do it since they attacked like 100,000 websites at the same time, and I identified this pretty quickly. But this could have prevented any of that from even happening because it would have identified the risk and blocked that malware from loading at all. Now, if you do end up with malware, it's going to be able to detect it and it's going to be able to clean it up. And then here, this is kind of vague, but <laughs> robust protection against all cyber attacks. That's pretty awesome. They do have this blog post here that I do recommend. I'll link to it here in the video's description that talks about cybersecurity, the risks that we face today. They link out to some other articles and they talk about security plugins. They talk a little bit more about some of what they do. You can see the cost comparison, four bucks a month or less. If you have multiple websites like I do, that price can even go down. Plus, Cloudways is now working on a comprehensive WAF as well as domain reputation. These are gonna be added at no additional cost. I mean, essentially, the security of your website is one of their top priorities and it's something they're heavily investing in. And that's a great reason for me to not ever leave. So, this video was sponsored by Cloudways, but everything I said in it is 100% what I believe. I've used a lot of different hosting options for WordPress. There are options that are less expensive at the very beginning if you have a brand new website, but just recognize that even when your website's small, even if your business is fairly new or small, you are potentially at risk of a cyber attack. And something like that could be what shuts you down. So if you're on Cloudways, I recommend you at least go look at malware protection and see if it's something that you should enable on your website. It probably is but you can make that decision for yourself. Now, if you're not on Cloudways yet, I encourage you to go check it out right now. If you use the link in the description and make sure that you use coupon code ISSUMMER30, 
it's gonna get you 30% off for your first four months on Cloudways. It's a special promotion they're running right now. You're not gonna get a better price anytime soon. But also, Cloudways has free migration. So you can migrate your existing website over to Cloudways for free, and uh, that's pretty awesome too. So I invite you to look into it because I want your business to succeed. I don't want you to fail, especially not because some other jerk somewhere else on the planet decided to take what you built. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you in the next video.